Hi guys, welcome to part three of the Unreal Engine for Beginners series. In the previous two tutorials, we learned how to move around the level. And we also learned how to move some actors in the level and scale and rotate them using these controls. Now in this tutorial, we're going to look at some menus or windows that are available. So we're going to look at place actors and then place an actor in the level. We're going to look at uh, this window which is called World Outliner and we'll be able to select some actors in that window. And finally there is a details window where we can select some stuff. Let's first start by creating a new actor. So over here and if you don't see this window by the way you can get it back open from the window tab and by selecting place actors so in this window you have a bunch of stuff that you can simply drag into the level for example this cube and in order just to recap quickly uh, from last tutorial, we can move this stuff, we can rotate it, and we can scale it along various axes. Okay, so let's start the game, and you'll see that this thing fell, this cuboid, but this didn't. The reason for that is because well, first of all, you want to make it movable, so it can be changed in the game. And you also want to simulate physics, all of, of which can be found in this uh, details window. Let's just drag it over so you can see what I mean. This transform um, sub menu is where you can set the mobility to movable. And you can go to physics to enable physics simulation. Then it will have very similar properties to the cubes that we already have in the game. So that's for creating new actors. Um, these are just simple sort of mesh actors. Uh, mesh is like a 3D object or a 3D shape, what, what it looks like. Uh, but in the future, we'll be adding more complex things. For now, we're sticking to simple things. So if we explore a bit more in the details um, window, you can see some other things that you can sort of manipulate, like uh, location. So you don't have to drag it in the viewport you can also change this value that you can see and you can also scale it as needed you can rotate as needed so there are various ways of doing the same thing essentially and if you scroll further down you'll see that there are a lot of interesting Things. Some are maybe confusing at this point, but we're not going to touch a lot of these things. What we've done is um, good enough. We made it movable and we made it simulate physics. The last thing we're going to look at is this world outliner, which lists all your actors in the game and it even has nice folders you can group your actors with. For example, you can collapse the uh, arena geometry which is all the things that provide geometry to the level we don't want that uh, we don't want lighting we don't want render in which case there are not many things as you can see so we've got our first person character which is that thing over here with a camera uh, we've got Player start, which is where the player is supposed to start, it kind of marks where uh, where the level uh, begins. Uh, we don't care about these things. 
template label is, is that um, rendered text that you can see at, um, at the bottom. And finally, our cube that we just created, which doesn't really have a name, it just says cube. So we can right click and we should be able to rename it. I don't see rename in the right click. But in order to rename the hotkey is F2. F2 is rename in almost every place in Unreal Engine. So it's it's a good hotkey to know. So press F key on this thing and rename it to MyCube, for example. In which case, the name of this thing is now MyCube. Oh, you can also rename it in my details if you wanted to. Right, so that should be it for this tutorial in which we created a new actor um, of shape cube. We manipulated its properties using its details window. Uh, in particular, we changed its transform mobility to movable. And we also set its physics simulation to true so they can be controlled by the physics world and we also looked at the world outliner to have an idea of how to structure our um, actors in the level and on this note thanks for watching